feels like every time I'm sitting at this bench, I'm sitting in a mess. And today's no different. I'm sitting in the remains of what used to be my exhaust pipe on the, off the silencer. Because I put the video up on Wednesday of the exhaust system and I watched it myself. I watched myself, which is a bit weird. And I thought, oh yeah, mm, that'll do. One of you made a comment, a really lovely comment, but just gave me a little hint. And thanks, Jeff, I really appreciate it. He commented that non-original he could live with, but the exhaust was rough. Uh, another subscriber had some clues about getting the dints out. And I appreciate both of you. What it said to me was, oh, Chris, you haven't done enough. And so yesterday, and this is yesterday, Thursday, I sat down and thought, what am I going to do about it? It doesn't look good enough. You're letting yourself down. So the video that follows is what I did. I'm very pleased. Thanks, guys, for your help. I really appreciate it. What I did was I bought a slug, 100 mil of it, of inch and three-eighths brown bar because the inlet of the silencer is inch and three-eighths. So I can just cut the old exhaust out and weld this in. Of course, I'm going to bore a hole at the middle. Then this is the piece of exhaust pipe that I have. It's got an internal diameter of 28 millimetres. So I've just, 28.2. So I've just taken that down to 28.2. And it slides over nice and easy, and that'll be good. Now, I've got a couple of choices. I can weld this pipe to this fitting. And that's, you know, not the worst idea. Or I can cut some 15 mil slits and put a pipe clamp over it. That's probably my first choice. So I can take this end pipe off or make another pipe if I make a mess of this one. Anyway, I need to bore up a hole up the middle of this and I'm probably going to bore a 24 mil hole. as That'll leave two mil either side of that fitting. Seeing that's 28 mil, I'd have two mil and a 24 mil hole. Uh, it restricts the pipe slightly from what it was, but marginally. Not going to make any difference. Object of the game is to get it to run and to make it look better. We want it to look better. Honestly, sometimes I wonder how I get myself into these things. So, I made up the little adapter for the exhaust pipe. You know, that was going to slide in there. And the new exhaust was going to go on there. All simple. Except... It's oval. Ugh. But it's agriculturally oval. I don't really know why somebody made the outlet of the silence oval. Because then they crushed a piece of pipe to get it to fit. Now, on a bright note, it wasn't welded in. It was just pushed in. So with a bit of heat on the exhaust pipe and a hammer, I knocked it out. Now, I've just been trying to round up the outlet of the exhaust to get that to go in. And I think I'm going to win the battle. So I'm going to quietly plug away at this at the anvil and just get that slug to fit before I weld it in. Well, actually, I might just Offer it all up to the bike and see if I can bend the tailpipe, a new tailpipe. At this stage, I really haven't done a lot of damage. Um, not a lot to lose. I'll persevere. Rightio. It's, it's going okay. The slip fit sleeve, yes, goes in. And I can use this to, you know, put on a little angle to start the bend of the exhaust and that goes back over there and i think with a few short slits and a decent clamp it'll start to tighten up so you can see a mark on a mark on the pipe where i think the bend needs to begin and possibly where it needs to end now i, I need this angle 
smoothly put into the pipe. I, I don't really know how other than to heat it up and gently bend it. Um, I don't have a pipe bender um, and I'm not really confident that I suppose I could take it somewhere and get it done. But I'm not sure where. We don't have an exhaust shop in this town. Um, you're going to have to leave it with me. I'm going to think about it. I'm having a bit more of a crack at the exhaust. So I just heated it up with a blowtorch and bent it and thought, oh, well, I had the pipe. It was left over for another project. And I thought, I'll just have a crack. Now, I've done a pretty good job. I'm actually pretty happy. There's a tiny flat spot here, um, but you've got to be looking for it. I've got the bend of the pipe about right, and it'll go up the frame about right. I've shortened the pipe off at the back so it doesn't foul the stand, and it can hug tighter to the bike so that, bear with me, the Kickstarter clears by about, you know, good solid half an inch, three quarters of an inch. And then, you know, I can just put a bit of a bologna cut, as the Americans would call it, or a sausage cut or a, a, a splice, slice on the end of the pipe to make it look slick. I only have to weld, really, this slug into there and cut some little slices into here so that a decent pipe clamp works and weld a piece onto here um, so that I can get that to go to there. Because I still think, I don't think it'll be strong enough. I, tempt, I was tempted to shorten it right down, but I don't think so. I think I'll put the longer pipe on, and I think I'll put a clamp on, and I'll see how I go. Well, this is getting up to the serious end. I've marked the pipe. You can hear the welder running in the background. And I'm going to try and tack that tiny piece of steel to that tiny pipe. This is where things generally go wrong for me and I blow a hole in the pipe. But I'm gonna do my best. That's all I can do. There we go. It's a winner so far. I didn't blow holes as I welded. I didn't do a super job, but it, it looks so much better. I'm really happy. I'm gonna do a bit of grinding here um, to uh, be able to weld, sorry. I'm going to grind a little bit here to be able to weld that slug into place. Now, that slug's a tight fit. And, um, you know, it did nearly hold the way it is. So when I'm talking about welding, I'm talking about four really solid tacks and we're done. I'm not talking about welding the whole thing up. It's just not worth it. It goes in about 20 mil, 15 mil, and... It's a tight squeeze. I've hammered it in and then hammered the pipe up against it to get the pipe to be round. And I've got to cut some slots here and get a pipe clamp. Nearly the end of the day, I'm going to dart out and get a pipe clamp. Right, I've got a good solid tack on that sleeve in the um, silencer, if you like. And I'm going to pull the whole thing apart now and get three or four more good ones on it and give it a clean up. I reckon, job's right. Oh yeah, that's come up well. So I'll put some little slices in here and I've got a quite a tight clamp. It's a 29 to 31 stainless steel um, band and it will tighten up really well. It's nearly fully extended, so it's gonna tighten down. Not that it needs a lot, it's all a snug fit. I've put a bit of a baloney cut, as the Americans would call it, on the back of the pipe and got that to line up, and that's going to look super good. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to test it on the rear stand. Then I'm going to blow all this apart, give it a paint. New day in the workshop, and the exhaust tip is dry. I'm going to get this on the bike. That's just painted in high-temp engine satin black. There's the difference between the two tailpipes, let's call them. Here's the original. Um, the non-painted piece is the piece that went into the pipe, into the silencer. And you can see it's been beaten pretty hard to make it oval shaped. The bend has got a lot of, I don't know, sausage marks in them. 
and then the clearance for the Kickstarter. Rest of the pipe wasn't so bad. Here's the fresh one. <clears throat> There's really no marks. A little flat spot where the bend is. I don't know how I'd do any better. Uh, a professional mandrel bent pipe would probably be better. But it's not. There's the little cuts for the clamp. Uh, it's a great result and I'm really, really pleased with it. It looks a hundred times better. Does it make a huge difference? Well, I think to me it probably does. I'm glad someone pushed me to do it. I'm going to get on the bike and we're going to make it look better. Well, there you go. That's the exhaust mounted up. Now, I can't really take you back much further and show you the whole bike because I don't want to spoil some of the things I've done that are coming up in the episodes in the week to come. There's the new, I suppose it's a tailpipe. For all intents and purposes, it looks just like the other one, but it's shorter. Why is it shorter? It's shorter so it can go in further, uh, and it's actually in line with the rear stand now. It goes in further so that it clears the Kickstarter, and it clears by mm, 20 mil, an inch possibly, so there's no need to beat the hell out of the pipe. The bend in the pipe's pretty good. It's just a tiny flat spot that I can see it, and you can too, because it's a little bit shiny in this video. Once it's used, I don't think I'll see it. It's a thousand times better than before. Here's the back of what I'm calling the silencer. Will it suck much noise out? I don't know. You can see the sleeve I put in and tack weld it on and then ground the welds off. Here's the clamp I've used. Now, the clamp sticks out like the proverbials at the moment. Um, should I paint it black? I don't know. Leave a comment. I'm not really offended by the stainless steel. Uh, it looks like an exhaust clamp. Um, it's actually a water pipe fitting, a hose clamp but it looks really good. Looking at the silencer down inside, everything looks good. The header pipe looks good. Can't go much higher than that. And I'm really happy with it. Thank you, Jeff, for leaving me the gentlest um, hint that I hadn't done enough. You were right, I hadn't done enough. I hadn't pushed myself far enough. It looks pretty good. 